All right, well, welcome everybody. It's great to be here and practice with you this evening. Um, today is going to be just a super relaxing class, restorative, so nothing like the headstands that we were doing last week. <laughs> so I'd like to invite you to find a comfortable place on your mat. We're going to start laying down, and I will guide us through a nice intro meditation there. So find your cozy resting position. Once you lay down on your mat, you can gently draw your eyes closed. We'll take the next couple moments to truly arrive here and now. Take a couple moments to gently allow your body to start to sink towards the ground beneath you, allowing the arms to soften as the shoulders just kind of roll down the back body. Allow the feet to splay outwards if the legs are extended, allowing gravity to simply pull the feet in opposite directions. Allow the back of your head to sink towards the ground. Just let yourself begin to melt towards the ground beneath you. Allow a wave of relaxation to wash across your body, sweeping you from head to toe softening the muscles, bones, everything within your body as it passes. And as we rest here, take a moment to truly grant yourself permission to be here and now. You made it, you arrived. For the next hour, all you have to do is to simply be with yourself on your mat. Anything that's left to do today or for the rest of the week is left for the future. This next hour is for you. All that stuff can wait. Right now there's nothing to do. So truly honor that and let yourself melt into the moment. Everything has its place and time. This time is for you to practice. Begin to connect with your inhales and your exhale, beginning to feel the rush of air in and out of your body. Notice how good it feels to breathe. Maybe you lengthen your inhales and exhales, drawing out every breath. Feel the entirety of the breath in your body and just let yourself soak in the goodness of the breath. As you do so, allow the mind and the body to relax further around the breath. So maybe you soften the jaw, the chest, the belly. Allow the mind to be held by the breath. So allow your awareness to just drip down to the body, feeling the goodness of the breath. And as we rest here, take a couple more big conscious breaths. Again, allowing every inhale and exhale to fill your awareness completely. Feel your body breathe. Let everything else go. Whenever your mind begins to think and take you away from your breath, that's okay. The job of the mind is to think. We're not here to stop thought, but to simply notice it. So if and when that happens, become aware of your mind, where your mind likes to go. Simply bring it back to your breath when you're ready to arrive back in your body. We're simply here to become aware, to notice where our mind goes. And when we want to come back to here and now, Link the mind back to the breath. Take a couple more big breaths, really allowing yourself to come fully to your body, 
to arrive fully on your mat for practice tonight. If you'd like to stay resting on your mat, simply sinking into the goodness of your breath and body, feel free to do so. Sometimes what our body needs most is rest, so please honor where you're at tonight and where you'd like to go. If at any point you'd like to come back to this posture or simply do whatever feels good for you, again, tonight is for you, so just let yourself flow and listen to your body, give it what it needs. If you'd like to begin to flow, follow an inhale to gently reach the hands up overhead, pulling the hands towards the back of the room as the feet reach towards the front, full body stretch. On an exhale, gently hug the knees in towards you, wrapping your arms around the legs. Give yourself a little hug. If you'd like, maybe you gently rock side to side. Eyes can be open or closed. That's totally up to you. Just find what feels good right now. As you're in this shape, tune into your body. So notice how the neck, the shoulders feel, maybe the spine, the hips. Just become aware. Love your body for how it is right now. You are perfect. Take another big breath or two, breathing through the body. Just feel your breath. We're going, we are going to start our first flow here. So if you're rocking side to side, eventually slow down your rocks, just making your way to a stagnant posture. Our first stretch is going to be a nice twist. So on an exhale, arms drop to a T-shape and allow the knees to drop over toward the left-hand side. So legs fall over. You can stack them one on top of another if that feels good. Maybe you rest the left hand on the outside of the right legs. Maybe the gaze goes over the right hand. Find how this works in your body. If it's too much, you can also grab a pillow and maybe even place it between the knees or under your bottom knee. So lots of variations. Find what works for you. As you rest here, just let your body sink into the shape. Soften your jaw, your hands. Can you feel the breath along the right side body? So throughout practice tonight, we're going to be focusing on feeling the breath within the body feeling where we find the manifestation of the breath during the different shapes that we come and go into. Feel the breath along the right-hand side. Let everything else go. Take about one more big breath here. And whenever your next inhale arises, gently bring your knees back up to center. On the exhale, simply go on over to the other side, slowly dropping the legs over to the right-hand side. Again, find where this works for you. Maybe you look over the left hand. Maybe the right hand rests on the outside of the left leg. Eyes are open or closed. Whether they're open or closed, keep the gaze inwards. In other words, the awareness of the mind is on and in the body. Bring your awareness toward the left hand side of your body. On your inhales, can you feel the lung and the rib cage around it expand and lift? On your exhales, can you feel the rib cage, the lungs soften as it contracts? Take a couple moments. Allow your mind to focus on this region of the body, letting everything else go. Be here in your body. Notice how it feels to breathe along the left-hand side. Whenever your next inhale arises, gently make your way back up to center one more time. Exhale once you get to center. From here, we're going to move into a super gentle version of happy baby. Take a big breath in, and on your exhale, both hands on both knees, gently draw the knees in towards the chest, just like we did, but this time, rather than clasping the hands, the, lay, the hands are on each knee. If this feels like enough, stay here. If you want to go a little bit further, on your next exhale, so breathe in, breathe out. On your exhale, draw the knees toward the side body. So you're opening the knees, right knee toward the right side, left knee toward the left side. This is a super restorative version of happy baby, opening the hips. So as you're here, continue to press the low back, the hips down into the mat. 
Again, knees are drawing outwards, and we're not really gripping and pulling the knees. We're just kind of gently placing the hands like weights on the outsides of the knees or the shins. A couple more big breaths here. So navigate to the body. Notice what you feel. Where do you feel the breath manifest within? Can you imagine sending the breath all the way to the hips on your inhales, bringing in space? On the exhales, breathing out deeply from the low back, from the hips, letting any tension release. Soften the jaw, relax the shoulders, breathe deeply. Awareness is on the breath, feeling the body. Again, allow yourself just melt into your body, into your breath, into the moment. On your next exhale, bring your knees back to center, so draw them back into the midline. Inhale, bring your feet up, and then we're going to go to Baddha Konasana. So as you do so, the insides of the feet will touch and the knees will splay outwards in space, and then slowly, butterfly leg shape, lower those legs down to the ground. So the feet will rest on the ground, knees will open. If you like, you can place your hands on the outsides of the thighs. So the space between the backs of your thighs and the ground, you're going to place them on the backs of the thighs. And you can allow your legs to open up into your hands. That'll help you to be able to relax your hip flexors a bit. If you'd like gravity to just do its job, however, you can release the hands. Maybe you place them on the insides of the thighs. That'll add a little bit of a weight to open up the legs. Or you can simply place the hands on the belly or down by your sides. So explore those different options. Find what works for you tonight. Eyes can be open or closed, as always. Once you find your posture, come back to the breath. Come back to the body. So notice where your mind is at. Release those internal hip flexors as much as you can, allowing gravity to simply draw the knees towards the ground. Notice if any other areas in your body is tensing up. So become aware of the face, the jaw, relax, the eyes, soften the jaw. Shoulders melt towards the ground. Let yourself be in this shape. If at any point you need to modify or move, again, listen to your body. Go to what feels good. Send your breath all the way to where you feel the strongest sensation. Again, inhales, bring in space. Exhales, release anything that no longer serves you. We'll pause here for a couple moments longer. next posture or transition is your choice. You can either move through a full body stretch, stretching the arms and legs in opposite directions, or you can just come to Apanasana, knees to chest pose. Totally up to you. So full body stretch or straight to hugging the knees in, whichever serves your body and your practice tonight. Feel free to find that way of movement. And we'll meet back up in Apanasana, knees to chest pose, hugging the knees in. Maybe you rock side to side, maybe not. Take a couple moments, notice how you feel after that flow. And that is our first flow. So before I recap for you, because there's only a couple of postures that we're working through, I'd like to invite you to hold these postures a little bit longer than you normally would. So if you're kind of itching to get out of a pose, maybe you hold just for a couple more breaths. We're trying to cultivate a more restorative vibe energy this evening so maybe you stay slightly longer than you normally would to start this flow we started in a simple twist so we drop the knees to each side pause for however long you'd like maybe a little longer from there we did both sides and then we moved to our easy version of happy baby so we hug the knees in maybe that was all you went maybe you drew, drew the knees out to the side and paused again for however long it felt good we ended up landing in our reclined Baddha Konasana, or butterfly legs, hands can be behind the thighs, on the thighs, on the belly, anywhere that really suits your body. And again, maybe you stay just slightly longer than you normally would in this pose. 
So that's our flow. It's twist, gentle, happy baby, butterfly legs, or baddha konasana. So feel free to play around with it. Maybe you add to it. Maybe you take some away from it. But find what works for you. I'll be here to guide your awareness and your mind. And then we'll meet up for our next flow. You can do all, none, or some of that. So just find what works for you. Every time you reach a posture throughout this flow, ask yourself where your point of awareness is. Make it a conscious decision. In any pose, your point of awareness could be a certain sensation or feeling in the body. It could also be the sensation of the breath, which is a reliable tool we can always go to. So every time you enter, exit, every time you're in a posture, come back to that question. What is my point of awareness? When you have that point of awareness, that anchor, we can notice when the mind begins to start other tasks, other thinking tasks, and simply usher our way back in when we're ready. So I'd like to ask you to think right now where your point of awareness is, wherever you're at. Keep your focus there, and when your mind takes you away, simply come back. Be specific. Maybe it's in your left side body. Maybe it's in the belly or the chest. Become aware. Whatever shape you're in right now with your body, how can you soften more? How can you soften your body? So maybe that includes relaxing areas of the body that are not being used to hold a certain shape. Maybe that means softening your mind or the way that you speak to yourself within and during your practice. Softening your energetic state, softening the edges of your body, the edges of your mind. How can you soften more? Let yourself truly melt into the moment, into the practice, and into your breath. Let everything else go. Continue to breathe deeply. And as much as your mind wants to convince you that there are more important tasks to think about or matters at hand, right now in the present moment, you're simply on your mat, in your body, feeling your breath. Being here and now is the most important thing. So give yourself permission to let anything else go. You can get to it after practice. Right now, this time is for you to simply be. If and when you complete your flow, feel free to continue to move in ways that serve your body. Just listen to where your body wants to go and go there. Maybe you simply pause in a resting position and check in. Come back to the breath. Notice any themes of your mind, of your body, of your practice this evening before moving on. So take the next couple moments. If you're still flowing, feel free to do so. If you've found a moment to pause, then take some time there as well.
we will eventually transition to meeting in child's pose next. So before you move, if you're laying on your back, I'd like to invite you to really take your time to come up because we've been laying down for a while. So maybe you simply just roll over to one side, pause for a couple breaths, then very slowly make your way up to seated, pause, and then transition to hands and knees, tabletop, and then child's pose. So take your time, move slowly, move consciously, become aware of your head space, and, and only move to what feels good for you. Again, if you just want to do your own thing and would rather listen to the tune of your own body tonight, feel free to do so as well. No need to join me. Once you get to child's pose, if that's where you're going, take a couple moments to, yet again, feel the breath in the body. Where do you feel the breath manifest in your body in child's pose? For me, I feel the inhales expand along my back body. And the exhales allow me to relax and sink down. It might be different for the, you, though, so feel into your own body. Where do you feel the breath? For our first flow, within this second flow, we're going to do our moving meditation from tabletop to child's pose. So whenever your next inhale arises, as slow as you can, press yourself all the way up to tabletop position, hands and knees on your inhale. On your exhale, you'll slowly sink back down, bringing the hips to the heels. So our goal here is to really coordinate moving with the breath. So we inhale to rise. When we're no longer inhaling is when we're at tabletop position. And then on our exhale, we slowly lower. When we're no longer breathing out is when we have our hips all the way back towards the heels. So really try to synchronize breath and movement, allowing your mind to melt towards the body, using the breath as the tool to create a union between the mind and body. Take a couple more rounds, move at your own pace, inhaling to rise and exhaling to lower. Whenever you're ready, simply find your way back to resting in child's pose. Again, take your time. Once you get to child's pose, breathe deeply. Feel the breath in your body and just notice where you're at. On your next inhale, gently make your way back up tabletop position, hands and knees. Once you get there, take a look down, exhale, make sure that the wrists are directly under the shoulders and the knees are hips distance. Moving into thread the needle, on your inhale, right hand sweeps up towards the sky, reach tall. Exhale, hand comes down and across, set the outside of your shoulder down, side of the head comes down as well. We'll pause here for a couple big breaths. Your choice if you want to actively press into the left hand or if you just kind of want to melt it down to the ground. Totally up to you. Breathe deeply. Relax your jaw. Shoulders pull down away from the ears. Low belly sucks in. And as you're here, bring your awareness to the knees. So which knee feels lighter? Whichever knee feels lighter, gently press your way over to the knee, that knee and then even out the distribution between your knees. Breathe through the body. So again, where do you feel your breath here? Breathe deeply. Let yourself simply feel. One more big breath. On your inhale, slowly press, lift on up. Right hand sweeps up once more. Exhale, right hand comes down. Same thing, other side. So inhale, left hand reaches up. Exhale, down and across. Set the shoulder down. Side of the head comes down as well. Again, we'll pause here for a couple big breaths, breathing deeply. Your choice if you want to press that right hand into the ground or just let it relax. Bring your awareness to the knees, whichever knee feels lighter. Shift your weight over that way so the knees feel even with their weight distribution. And yet again, come back to your breath. Feel how this posture feels in your body. Breathe deeply and feel the breath within. 
Eyes can be open or closed. Allow yourself to just melt into here and now. And whenever your next inhale arises, press through your right hand. Lift the left hand all the way up. Reach tall. Exhale, hand comes back down and then make your way to child's pose once more. So big toes touch, knees spread wide, sink the torso and head down towards the mat. Take a couple of big, big breaths here. Maybe you even inhale through the nose and exhale audibly through the mouth. Allow yourself to sink down, shoulders rest down the back body, lots of space around the neck and ears. On your next inhale, shift up tabletop position once more. On the exhale, curl the toes under, lift the hips up, press it on back, down dog. We'll pause here for a couple big breaths. So maybe you pedal the feet, bend the knees, shift the weight forward and back or side to side. Find what works in your body. Take about one more big breath. And then on your next exhale, begin to walk the hands all the way back to the feet. If you need to bend the knees to get there, feel free to do so. On your inhale, rise up halfway, pull the heart forward. Feet are about hips distant, exhale, hang heavy. So play around with the bend of your knees. Maybe you bend deeply, maybe it's just a subtle bend, but we're just gonna find a nice forward fold that feels good in your body right now. So hands can dangle in the air. You can wrap hands around opposite elbows. You can find a bind wrapping around the legs or the feet, whatever works for you. Wherever you go, try to relax the back of your neck as much as you can. So the crown of the head pulls down towards the ground beneath you. If you open your eyes, if they're closed, you should be able to see the wall or whatever's behind you. If you're looking down at your mat, then that means your neck is craned a bit. So relax, relax, relax. If you want to add movement, maybe you sway side to side or bob your head up and down. We're gonna be here for a little bit, just finding a nice release within the body utilizing gravity to decompress the spine and allow the blood to flow back towards the head. So relax your jaw, soften your shoulders. Again, if this feels like too much, bend your knees, find where this works for you. Again, where do you feel your breath in your body? Take a couple moments, explore, get to know yourself. Feel the breath come in and out. Notice where you feel the strongest sensation right now within your body. Just explore, become aware, bring your mind within. And we'll be here for a couple more big breaths. Beautiful job. On your exhale, gently release the hand down. Inhale, rise up halfway, pull the heart forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, walk the hands out in front of you. And then exhale, drop the knees, child's pose, lower the knees, big toes touch, sink the hips back to the heel. And take a couple moments to just observe how you feel right now. After the forward fold, after that flow we just did, become aware and breathe deeply. As you're here, feel free to listen to my voice or take a moment to prop yourself up to watch me on the screen. Totally up to you for our recap here. So for the first part of this flow, we did our tabletop child's pose flow. So we inhale up to tabletop, exhale down to child's pose. And you can do that as many times as you'd like. Breathing deeply, following your breath. From there, we paused in child's pose. So we came on back down, paused in child's pose. Our next posture was thread the needle. So hands flipped up, and then we set the shoulder down underneath on the ground. Again, pause on each side for however long you wanted, and then reset, came back to child's pose. Observe the body, notice how you feel. Our final posture, a little flow within the flow, was coming up to down dog. Really kind of taking some time to stretch out, to breathe deeply. Eventually, we made our way to hanging heavily for a little bit of time in our forward fold. So we paused here, breathed deeply, and eventually made our way all the way back to 
child's pose. So again, as a quick recap, it was our meditative flow going from tabletop to child's pose, up and down as many times as you'd like. From there, child's pose. Then we made our way to thread the needle on each side. Again, child's pose. Finally, down dog to our forward fold and then up in child's pose one more time. So again, take some time, explore this flow. If you want to add anything, take anything out, or just do your own thing. Listen to your body, find what feels good, and I'll be here for you along the way. decide to go, allow your breath to be your guide. So allow every inhale and exhale to initiate before you add any movement. Find your way to your breath within every pose. Let yourself just surrender to feeling the breath. Let everything else go. There's nothing else you have to do right now but to simply honor your body, to be with yourself and let yourself feel. That's all you have to do. Notice where your mind is at right now. Check in. What are you thinking about? Become aware. Our practice is not one that includes shutting down the mind. We're here to be with ourselves, to explore the mind, to get to know what thinking looks like when our mind is left to its own vices. Does the mind go to the past, to the future, to imaginary scenarios? Does the mind link up to distractions within and around us? Where does the mind go? Become aware, get to know yourselves, and use the tool as the breath as your anchor so you know when the mind drifts away. You can reel yourself back in, you can come on back. Without that point of focus, without the breath, without feeling the body, it becomes very difficult to notice when the mind thinks and where it goes. So be compassionate to yourself. Let yourself be in the practice. Rather than judging and thinking it should look a different or certain way, surrender. Just let yourself be as you are because you're perfect just as you are. Become a witness, an observer. Simply be aware. Immerse yourself in your breath, in your body, releasing any other ties to the external world. Whenever you do notice the mind thinking and you're ready to come back to the moment, feel the body. Feel the breath in your body, the inhales and the exhales. Feel any sensation that you're receiving in the shape that you're making in your body. 
When we allow our minds to come to the body, we're linking it with a present moment activity, and in turn the mind softens, it relaxes. So keep coming back to your breath, to your body, it's all you gotta do. and when you're done with this current flow. Again, as always, feel free to continue to move in ways that serve your body. Allow yourself to just kind of let go. Let that intuitive place within bubble up and move your body. You can go to any shape or form that feels good. doesn't have to be a quote-unquote real yoga pose. It's empowering and something beautiful happens when we just let our amb ambitions down, inhibitions down, and let ourselves move organically. So if you'd like to, maybe you explore, just notice where your body goes. What's the first posture or stretch that you want to go to? Maybe it's simply resting on the ground. If you do want to eventually meet up for the final flow, maybe you add some postures in, eventually make your way to laying back down on your back body. But again, find what works in your body. If you're still flowing in your flow right now, please feel free to continue to do whatever you're doing. If you do want to lay down, once you get there, maybe you take a couple moments to, again, check in with your mind, with your body, with your emotional well-being. Just become aware of your being right now, of how practices is going for you. Not in the sense of good and bad, but just what you're noticing. Become aware, letting go of any sorts of judgment. Again, if you're still flowing, please take all the time you need. If you've made your way to your back body, take a couple really big breaths. Again, maybe you inhale through the nose, maybe you exhale audibly through the mouth, making a ha <sighs> sound, just letting everything go. Take a couple moments, just be. For our final flow, we'll work through some gentle back bends. When you're ready, follow an inhale to step your feet in towards you. So feet flat on the ground, knees bent, exhale once you get there. We'll start with bridge dip, so hands come by the sides, palms face down. Whenever your next inhale arises, press through the feet and lift your hips up towards the ceiling. On your exhale, you'll slowly lower just to a hover. Let's do a couple more. So inhale to rise and approaching this almost like a moving meditation. Exhale to lower. Really try to synchronize your breath and movements. Let's do one more. Inhale, lift on up. Exhale, slowly lower this time. You can set the hips all the way down. Take a big breath or two. Pause here. From here, we are going to lift up and hold. So when you're ready, press through the feet, lift those hips on up. Once you're lifted, pause and hold. Bring your awareness to the feet, really press the feet down, specifically through the heels. Squeeze the knees towards each other like you're holding a block between your legs. Chest presses up towards the chin as the chin lifts up off the chest. Glute squeeze, and one more big breath. On your exhale, slowly lower one vertebra at a time, all the way back down to setting the hips down on the ground. 
Pause for a moment or two, notice how you feel. We're gonna do that one more time. So when you're ready, find your way back up on an inhale, lift those hips on up, and maybe once you're lifted, as you're continuing to breathe, you clasp the hands under the low back, interlacing the fingers and possibly inching the shoulder blades towards one another on the back body. Continue to press the back of the head down into the ground, look up straight towards the ceiling above you, Couple more big breaths, keep squeezing those glutes, hips are lifted. If your hands are bound on an exhale, slowly release them, and then everybody lower back down, one vertebra at a time. Pause for a moment or two, just let your back settle. And from here, maybe you just slightly drop the knees side to side, Windshield and wipering the legs. Maybe you hug the knees in towards you. Whatever feels good, let the low back settle. If your feet are lifted up off the ground, eventually set them back down, feet flat, knees bent. Moving to a restorative version of pigeon pose. So on your next inhale, cross the right ankle over the left thigh, exhale. Inhale, bring the legs in towards you. Grab behind your left thigh, threading your hands through the legs. And then pause, breathe deeply. If this is enough, stay here. If you wanna go a little bit further, actively flex your feet. So pull the toes back towards the knees. Maybe you press the right elbow into the right thigh to press the right knee away from you. Continue to press the low back, the hips towards the ground. You can even play around with the height of where the left foot lies in space. Maybe you even rock side to side. Eyes can be open or closed, feel into the body, breathe deeply. Moving into a twist, so on your exhale, your choice. Arms come to a T-shape. You can allow the shape of the legs to fall to the ground. Right knee would be pointing up towards the ceiling, or if you prefer, you can do a twist like we did at the beginning of class, just allowing the knees to stack and letting them drop over to one side. So check out your body, find which version serves you better tonight. And then we'll pause for a couple of big breaths. Maybe you look over your right hand. Breathe to the right side body. Let yourself wind down. On your next inhale, gently bring your legs back up. Exhale, both feet flat on the ground, hands by your sides. Inhale, left ankle crosses over right thigh. Exhale, hug the legs in towards you, grabbing behind the right thigh this time. Feet can flex if you'd like. You can press the left elbow into the left thigh and play around with the height of your right foot in space. Maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you stay still. Listen to your body. Find what feels good. Allow the shoulders to relax as much as they can towards the ground, softening the back of the neck. And continue to gently press the hips, the low back towards the ground. Breathe through where you feel the stretch. Gently make your way to the twist of your choice on your exhale. So legs can either drop in the shape that they are in with that left knee pointing up towards the ceiling once you arrive in the twist or simply stack the knees, arms come to a T-shape and maybe you look over the left hand. So again, find what serves your body. Listen to where you'd like to go this evening. Once you get to your twist, breathe through what you feel. Breathe into the left side body, and again, simply allow yourself to feel the body and the breath. Relax your jaw, allow your shoulders to melt towards the ground. Pause here as you breathe deeply. And whenever your next inhale arises, gently make your way all the way back up to center. And on your exhale, set your feet back down on the mat. Great job. So as a recap for our final flow, we started with bridge dips. So we inhaled to lift the hips up. We exhale lower to a hover. You can do as many rounds of those as you'd like. From there, we paused and then we held bridge pose. So we lifted up in bridge pose and held for, how, again, however long you'd like, but we did that twice. So we lowered back down, we paused, and then we lifted up with the option to bind the hands under the low back. 
Once we did all three of those back ones, so we did the flow, we did the two of them being held, we paused, let our low back neutralize, maybe let those knees drop side to side, and then we made our way to our reclined pigeon twist flow. So we crossed an ankle over, brought the legs in towards us, paused for a couple breaths, made our way to any version of a twist that served your body this evening, so stacking the legs or having the knee pointing up towards the ceiling. But we did that on each side, hug the legs in and then twist, and then made our way back to center. So that's our final flow. It's the bridge dips, holding bridge twice, and then the recline pigeon to twist on each side. So feel free to explore that flow. If you wanna do all none or some of it, take your time, and then we'll meet up for the closing of practice. So take the next couple moments for yourself before we close tonight. Again, continue to follow your breath as you flow. Breath is our first and foremost point of attention. So always prioritize your breath. Feel the breath in your body. And then synchronize your movements with your breath. Take the time to honor the permission that you gave yourself at the beginning of class to truly be here and now with your practice. So again, as much as the mind wants to convince us that other matters may be more urgent to contemplate and think about, all that is truly happening is what's here and now in this moment. Right now you're on your mat, you're with your body, in your practice. Can you truly soak that in? Give yourself the gift of the present moment, just being here and now, the goodness of your practice. Give yourself the gift of releasing everything else, even if it's just for an inhale or just for an exhale. Let it go. Let yourself just be. Everything's perfect right now. Soak in the moment. And again, wherever you're at, continue to feel the breath in the body. The breath is such a powerful tool to bring us back home within the body, to allow ourselves to feel and to come back to the present moment. Simply feeling an inhale and exhale can release the mind, can calm us down, could allow us to just be. Feel your breath, feel your body, let everything else go. Notice how you can soften your body further no matter whatever shape you're in. Can you relax your facial expression, softening the jaw, relaxing the eyes? Soften the extremities like the fingers, toes, wrists and ankles, possibly relaxing the back of the neck and shoulders. When we consciously soften and relax our bodies, the mind follows. Allow yourself to soften to melt into the moment. 
And whenever you complete the flow, again, feel free to take any other postures that feel good for you. If you'd like to eventually meet up just resting on your back body, then take a couple moments to be there to rest. Continue to be easy with yourself, towards your mind, towards your body, towards your practice. Allow yourself to simply be with yourself as you are. If you'd like to meet me for the last couple postures of class, feel free to do so. If you just want to stay resting or flowing in your own way, then again, by all means, honor your body this evening. We'll close practice tonight with happy baby pose. So if you are joining me, gently bring the knees in towards the chest, eventually flex the feet, and then this time we'll go towards the full version. So maybe you either grab a hold on the outsides of the thighs, maybe you hold on to the shins or the ankles, or grasp the feet or, or the hands around the feet, drawing the knees down towards the side body and flexing your feet. As you're here, press the low back, the hips down towards the mat. And again, your choice. If you want to rock side to side, feel free to do so. If you want to stay perfectly still, that is also great. Shoulders relax towards the ground. If you really feel like you're reaching for the feet or wherever you're reaching towards, then come down a bit. The arms should be soft, the shoulders relax. You should be able to manage a smile here, so if you can put a smile on your face, you're doing half the baby then. <laughs> so pause for a moment or two, breathe through the hips. Whenever you're ready, we'll make our way to Baddha Konasana. So draw the feet in towards each other. Insides of the feet touch, knees play outwards. Again, you can hold on to the ankles or the outside edge of the feet, wherever the arms can be relaxed. Heels drop in towards the pelvic region as the knees press towards the front of the room. Relax the jaw. Breathe to those hips. Couple more big breaths. Again, just let yourself feel the body. If you'd like to stay here longer, feel free to do so. Eventually, we'll make our way to reclined Baddha Konasana, just like at the beginning of class. So you'll lower the shape, the butterfly leg shape, down towards the ground. Hands can rest on the inner thighs. They can rest under the legs, on the belly, or by your sides, whichever feels good in your body. Maybe you draw the eyes closed at this point, if you haven't already. Again, take a couple moments, breathe the hips, breathe all the way to the toes. Just feel the breath ripple in and out of your body. If you'd like to stay in Baddha Konasana longer or even for the entirety of Shavasana, feel free to do so. If and when you'd like to make your way towards Shavasana, feel free to straighten out all the limbs. Maybe you take another posture or two on your way. Just find what works in your body. Eventually, we'll all meet up in Shavasana with the eyes gently drawn closed and the body resting on the ground. Take a moment to gently invite in a soft, easy, a relaxed nature to your mind, to your body, to the space all around and within you. Begin to soften and relax the body further, starting by softening the crown of your head. Gently begin to relax the forehead. Soften the eyebrows. Relax the temples. Take a moment to scrunch up your eyes, so really squeeze them shut, scrunch up the face, exhale, and release. Relax, relax, relax. Soften the cheekbones and the jaw. Relax your lips and the teeth as you float the tongue down away from the roof of your mouth. Soften your ears and the back of the head as you relax the scalp. Take a moment to tense up your neck muscles. So try to tense the neck, tense the neck, tense the neck. 
and then release. Relax, 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 soften the neck. Press the shoulder blades down towards the ground beneath you, pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. Relax, allow the upper body to melt towards the ground. Make fists with your hands, maybe you even lift the arms up off the ground. Tense your arms, your fists, your hands. Tense, 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 tense. Allow the arms to drop down, hands to open, relax. Soften your chest. Take a moment to squeeze your abdominal muscles, squeezing the core, even the back body, maybe tenses up a bit, making it strong, and then relax, release, soften the belly, allow the back body to melt towards the ground beneath you. Begin to activate your glute muscles, squeezing the glutes towards each other, squeeze, 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 soften, feel your pelvic region melt towards the ground. Activate the thighs, the hamstrings by lifting the kneecaps. Point the toes towards the front of your mat, tensing up your legs all the way to the tippy toes. Tense, tense, tense. Let go, release, relax. Allow the legs to soften, relax the knees. Soften the lower legs and ankles. Relax the tops of your feet the bottoms and the toes. Imagine as though you can tense up your brain, your mind. Imagine it getting tense, 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 like squeezing a muscle, and then relax it. Imagine it melting, imagine it fading away, almost as though the skull becomes empty. Imagine tensing up everything within your body, all the muscles, bones, veins, every cell gets tense, 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 and then let it go. The whole inside of your body becomes spacious, light, and open. Eventually, visualize, imagine all the space around you, all the molecules, molecules in the air getting tense, 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 squeezing closer, and then Allow it to release. Everything becomes spacious and wide. Notice if you're holding on anywhere else within the body, the mind, the space around you. Relax, relax, relax. For the next couple moments, let yourself drift away into this totally relaxed state. Gently begin to invite the awareness back in towards your body. Feel free to rest longer if you'd like. Maybe you begin to introduce small wiggles to the toes, the fingers, the wrists and ankles. Only when you're ready, gently begin to roll over to either side and pause for a moment, resting in a fetal position. And 
Again, take your time. Only when you're ready, gently press yourself all the way up towards seated, keeping the eyes softly closed as you move and transition. We'll eventually meet up with the eyes drawn closed and palms touching at heart center. Take a couple of moments to become consciously aware of how you feel right now. Bring your awareness to your mind, to your headspace. Observe the qualities, let yourself feel the mind. What word describes the state of your mind right now? Gently tune in to the body, scanning the body, notice how it feels. What word describes your body in this moment? And eventually tune in to your emotional well being. What emotion do you feel right now? Gently give yourself a nice smile. Really thank yourself. Express gratitude to yourself for showing up here this evening, for dedicating your time to your health, your life, your well-being, and your practice. And thank you so very much for sharing your beautiful energy and practice with me and everybody else who joined in tonight. The light in me truly honors the light in you. Namaste.